Ministry of Finance, Budget, and National Planning presented a memo which was a request for ratification of Mr. President's anticipatory approval for the contract for the Customs Modernization Project. The purpose of the memo that we presented to Council was for a project that will enable the complete automation of the Nigerian Customs Service processes procedures using the application of information and technology in all aspects of customs administration in favor of a firm in the name of Messrs. E. Customs HC Project Limited for a concessionary period of 20 years. The main objective of, the, of this project is to completely automate every aspect of the customs business and to institutionalize the use of smart and emerging technologies that will enhance the statutory function of the Nigerian Customs Service in the areas of revenue generation, as well as trade facilitation and enhancement of security. The total cost of the project is in the sum of 3.1 billion US dollars, and the consortium, the PPP group that have been approved, are led by Messrs. Hawaii Technologies and with, other, with four other members. The committee that led this uh, process also looked at the national trading platform process that has been going on for years and confirmed that the Nigerian e-customs project is a subset of the national trading platform and in fact it prepares the Nigerian customs to play its lead role in the national trading platform. The consortium of uh, uh, businesses that came together to form this include Messrs. Bionica Technologies, West Africa Limited, Bergam Security Consultant and Supplies Limited, as this are lead sponsor and co-sponsor. We also have Africa Finance Corporation as a lead financier and Huawei Technology as a technical service provider. So Council today ratified Mr. President's approval for the PPP, a concession for a 20-year period to, for, to Messrs. E Customs HC Project Limited as a concessionaire for the delivery of the Customs Modernization uh, Project. This is a project that will not have an immediate cost to the government. The investors are providing all of the financing and this financing will be, this project will be deployed in three phases and they will recover their investment over the concessionary period of 20 years. Thank you. Nigerian Customs currently has some level of automation of its services, but it's not all of the services that is automated. This is an end-to-end automation of all of Nigerian custom service processes. And it's going to bring huge value to the country. So this investment of 3.1 billion US dollars is broken down into capital investment of 1.2 million US dollars that will be done in three phases over 36 months by these investors. And the 1.8 million US dollars is our projection of the operational cost over the 20 year period of the implementation of this project. This project has the potential to yield up to 179 billion US dollars, sorry, 176 billion US dollars of revenue for the project. And the consortia that are providing these investments are going to be paid over time according to a schedule that is negotiated for their investments, including their profit and cost of funds. So this is the best possible way for Nigeria to be able to roll out very important capital projects using funds from the private sector and providing service for the use of uh, the Nigerian people and the government. We, 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 we hope that at some point that revenues from oil will begin to be insignificant compared to revenue from non-oil in the Nigerian economy. That's our aspiration. 
And that is the true meaning of diversification. Thank you. Works and Housing presented a memorandum to Council for the Gada Zaima Zuru Gamji Road uh, in Kebi State uh, for two approvals. The first was to approve the uh, emergency works, to ratify the emergency works that were undertaken over seven kilometers between uh, 19, uh, 2019 and uh, at 1.145 billion and then to approve the award by the same contractor to now complete the balance of 55 kilometers um, which was approved also at uh, 10.589 billion so just by way of uh, 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 emphasis is that we did an emergency seven kilometers out of 62 kilometers because it was emergency we need to come for ratification which was given and we now get approval to award the remaining 55 kilometers so that we can complete the road which was also given My colleagues, honorable ministers here, ladies and gentlemen of the press, good afternoon and they may peace, mercy and blessings be upon you. Uh, I have presented a memo under Federal Ministry of uh, Communications and Digital Economy for Galaxy Backbone Limited, a federal government company. And uh, what the memo speaks about is uh, the need to upgrade and be more aligned to digital transformation in our activities. We have seen how COVID-19 pandemic brought about the need to be conducting activities virtually. And today we have attended the 14th Virtual Federal Executive Council. And this is unprecedented. And we have been pushed by necessity to be more to virtual activities. It is because of this, uh, Galaxy Backbone Limited has deployed ICT infrastructure in federal public institutions like State here, State House here, where they have 1,500 land points, that is local area network points. Federal Secretariat, Phase 1, they have 2,750 uh, land points. Federal Secretariat, Phase 2, 4,896 local area network points and uh, SGF office where they have 1,176 local area network and even Mabushi where Minister of Works and Housing resides. They have around 800 uh, local area network points. Most of the facilities being used have been deployed 10, 11 or 12 years ago. The most recent facilities in most of the places are the ones deployed eight years ago. And uh, the validity of these facilities usually is five years maximum. So now we have some that are up to 11 or 12 years. So there is need for these facilities to be upgraded. Why? Because we are going virtual almost every day. And only Almighty knows when this COVID pandemic will leave us. However, we are very optimistic and prayerful as well. So it is because of this, uh, Mr. President has directed that we should conduct an audit assessment of all the federal public institutions and their need in order to upgrade their facilities. We have done that, and the report has been presented before the council being chaired by our boss, Mr. President. And, uh, and secondly, after that, Galaxy Backbone Limited has been established in order to be providing uh, digital services to federal institutions. And with the presentation and the prayer contents therein in the memo, uh, federal government has redirected as well that all federal public institutions should always contact Galaxy as their first point of call whenever they have any IT project to be executed there. So most importantly, our presentation here is about upgrading our ICT infrastructure and secondly, directing institutions to patronize Galaxy and thirdly, to show to us the commitment of federal government towards promotion of a government 
Digital Services.